What's up guys? My name is Deft and welcome back to some more Pokemon Emeralds. And we're talking to May. We're gonna battle her right here now. Oh hi! You got a match call feature put on your Pokenam. Let's register each other so we can contact one another anytime. Dot dot dot. Registered May in the Pokenam. Oh by the way, I passed Mr. Briny in Petalburg Woods. I guess he's on his way to his cottage by the sea. How's your Pokedex come along? Mine's looking pretty decent. So, how about a little battle? I say yes. You just became a trainer, Death. I'm not gonna lose. We'll see about that. Here we go. We're facing May. Battle number two. She's got a Torkoal. I've got a Nuzleaf. Uh, this could this could end badly. I think I might just switch here and now. Come buskin, go! Fire type! Protect me from the evil fire type. It's gonna burn my poor delicate little acorn booty. Okay. Let's just double kick. Should do decent damage, though she used curse. But not gonna do that much. Ember now. Not gonna hurt me too bad. I'm pretty sure fire types are immune to burn, right? Right! <laughs> Just gonna keep kicking away. Man, the focus energy might have actually been a good move to hold on to, so I can get criticals whenever they boost up a bunch like this. So I'm gonna be doing no damage if she keeps boosting. But if I can get a critical, I'll just negate all the boosts. Look at that! Though, this might be it. <laughs> We've only got so many health points. As I call them, apparently they're hit points. Apparently the official name is hit point. When it comes to the acronym HP, but I call them health points, because it makes more sense. It's their health. When it goes down, they're not so healthy, but when it's full, they're 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 rather healthy. Makes more sense to me. Anywho, gonna switch to our grass type for her water type. That is Mudkip. Now, this 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 little this little uh, battle here might have been a little easier if I did something that I remembered between episodes that I'd like to do after this. But we're gonna use Nature Power. Hit it with a Swift. Let's see how much that does. Pretty decent. Water Gun. That's not gonna do very much. Definitely not. Okay. Let's hit it with another Swift. Cause that is a TM that I missed. Heading to Rustboro, which actually would have made the gym pedal much easier now that I think about it. I would have wrecked the gym if I had this move. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. But oh well, I remembered it now. At least I didn't forget it entirely. That would have been more embarrassing. So, there goes Muz... Uh, <laughs> there goes Mudki Mudkip. I want to say Nuzleaf really bad for some reason. Oh, by the way, Mr. Briny, who I just passed. Deft, you just, uh, moved here, so you might not know this, but Mr. Briny was once a revered seafarer. Good to know. Let's see here. I've already battled all you guys. We can cut this tree down now. Let's do it. Wah! Got an X accuracy. Alright, maybe that'll come in handy at some point. Yeah, right over here. Yeah, this guy. I like filling my mouth with seeds and spitting them out fast. You can have this. So try it out. Use it on a Pokemon that will learn a move for firing seeds rapidly. TM09. That is. Oopsies. Word of advice, a TM technical machine is good for is good only for one time use. Once you use it, it's gone. Think twice before using it. Alright, buddy. Uh, nope, we do it in the bag. That is Bullet Seed! Only got 10 power, but hey, it's a grass move. It's a grass move. So it will be good for Nuzleaf, because I don't really think he learns any grass moves, to be honest. Any, uh, grass attacks. Let's see. I think... I think I'm gonna... I think... <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of Bide! Even though it did me somewhat well, I think I would have rather had Bullet Seed in that encounter during that gym battle. 
And hey, maybe, maybe, but I'm, mm. <laughs> Before I even say that, I'm already regretting what words were about to come out of my mouth and saying that bide might be a better move in some circumstances. I don't trust the AI. <laughs> I don't trust the AI to give it to consistently attack me enough to make bide effective at all. All right, now what is nature power here? Oh, I think nature power is razor leaf because this is a forest. Let's find out. Cascoon can't hurt me anyway. Stun Spore! Alright, so we're not going to be able to win this. Even if we grinded it out. Bolt Seed is going to do nothing to this guy. So let's just run away. And get moving. Combuskin, I'm sure, could do more damage, but... I do want to keep Nuzleaf out front. Keep him at a high level. Oh, neat. That's the badge from Rustboro Gym. You must be a trainer. You should try using this item. It's a miracle seed. That could actually come in handy. Because right now, Nuzleaf finally has a grass move, but it doesn't do much damage. Well, there is something that just might help with that, and that is a miracle seed. There it is. Nuzleaf is given the miracle seed to hold. That'll buff our grass moves. So now, our, our uh, Bolt Seed will actually probably do somewhat decent damage. It only does 10, but uh, Nuzleaf is a Grass type, so that's going to boost the damage a little bit. The Miracle Seed will boost the damage a little bit. It'll all add up in the end, I'm sure. Got an X attack. Oh, let's not forget this right here. What are you? Tiny Mushroom! Alrighty, we got a Tiny Mushroom. Just stick that in our backpack. I'm sure there, there are more odd items that we just toss right in there. Heck, we got a backpack full of berries right now. Hmm. No. Bullet Seed is our only reliable offensive move right now. We have nature power, but it's stun spore in here, and that... That doesn't do damage. Alright, so we are here at Mr. Briny's cottage. Excuse me, sir. Hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. Hmm? You're deft. You shaved my darling Pico. We owe so much to you. What's that? You want to sail with me? Hmm. You have a letter bound for Duford and a package for Slateport, then? Quite the busy life you must lead. I'm falling out of his voice. <laughs> I'm struggling to maintain it. But certainly, what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to the right man. We'll set sail for Duford. Indeed. Do for it is then. Anchors away, Pico. We're setting sail, my darling. All right. Here we go. Ooh. Be sure to obey the speed limit, sir. We'll be there in no time. Oh. Beep. Oh. Deft. Where are you now? It sounds windy wherever you are. I just heard from... Devin's Mr. Stone about your poke nap, so I decided to give you a call. It sounds like you're doing fine, so that's fine with me. Conti continue sailing. Far, far away. With that, with that strange man you, you met you met in, in, in that cave yesterday. H how do I know this? Uh, uh, I have people. You take care now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Register Dad Norman in the poke nap. I forgot, he's the uh, normal type trainer, so his name is Norman. Oh, man. Alright. We're here! Ahoy! We've hit land in Duford. I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to... Who was it now? Stephen! Well, thanks for reminding me. And uh, thanks for reminding the viewers where we'll be going... Next time! <laughs> Not quite yet. I think I'm going to do these battles up here. I'm going to face these trainers here, get a little battling in, and then we're going to heal up at the Pokemon Center and get ready to head into the cave next time. So for now, get a Tentacool, and I think that Nature Power's Earthquake here. So even though I'm a little worried about Tentacool, possibly uh, hitting Nuzleaf with a Poison Attack. Let's see if we can survive Earthquake. Yes, it is. Nature Power's Earthquake on the beach. Oh, boy. 
I'm gonna have some fun in Slateport then. Cause Slateport, Slateport, we have all those trainers on the beach. We get to earthquake them all. All right, there's one guy. We got this guy right here. Which do you prefer, fishing in the sea or a stream? I'm sure you'll get a little more attention. You're a little more uh, action in the sea. I mean, what can you what can you catch in a stream? You gonna, you gonna catch some tadpoles? Alright, we got a magic carp. Let's sweep them. Growth. It's now growth. Growth is actually effective now. Because we now have a special attack. Because that nature power previously uh, has been swift, which is a normal attack, so that's uh, physical. Bullet seed, however, is a grass attack, so it is special. We have a guaranteed special attack that growth will boost the damage up. Look at that. Only hit one time. Let's see. We got a tentacle coming up next. I'm sticking to Nuzleaf. I'll put Combuskin out front uh, sooner or later. Sooner or later, but right now, Nuzleaf is on a roll. Earthquake. Boom. All right. It's going to be tough to get rid of Nature Power if I ever do. Because in the right circumstances, it's pretty good. Though, what was it? Oh, yeah, it was Swift. It was Swift when I was in the uh, gym battle. Because even though it's a rock gym and it's sort of got a rock theme, it does not change the terrain. The terrain remains uh, inside a building terrain, which is Swift. Didn't quite beat him in one hit there, but hey. We're guaranteed two hits with Bullet Seed. Alright. Get a little more XP. We beat Fisherman Elliot. Like in deep sea fishing, I lost spectacularly. Alrighty then. Fishing's great, but so is battling. Would you mind if you don't mind? Can we meet again? Registered Fisherman Elliot in the Pokenav. Alright, well. Maybe I'll face you uh, I'll face you again sometime. Jeff found a Pokeball. Yeah, I, I remember where a lot of the hidden items are. A lot of the just the corners. If there's like an area where you can sort of walk out on like a little peninsula, typically there'll be a hidden item, if not a Pokeball, sitting there on the ground. Also, I think there's an item in one of these rocks. Yes, there is. We got a Stardust. I'll definitely uh, be able to make some money in the future. I don't remember where it is that we can sell that to. But for now, I think we're going to head back to Duford. We're going to heal up our Pokemon. And head back over to the mouth of that cave. We're not going to go in just yet. That's coming up next time. But for now, I'm going to say that I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Emeralds. And I hope you'll be joining me next time where we venture into that cave without the use of Flash. Because I like facing the gym second. And uh, I don't remember where to get Flash right now. But I will, I'm sure I will have remembered or looked it up between the end of this episode and the beginning of the next one. Oh, actually, I think, uh, now that I think about it, heck, let's do that now. I think this guy gives it to me. Hey, Yuke, it's awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. That guy who came by earlier, Steven, I think it was. He knew how to use Flash, so he ought to be all right. But well, for us hikers, helping out those that we meet is our motto. Here you go, I'll pass this on to you. And we got Flash. <laughs> wow, I remembered it just now and just now. Teach that hidden move flash to a Pokemon and use it. Lights up even the inky darkness of caves. But to use it, you need the gym badge from Duford's Pokemon Gym. Yeah, if you if, uh, you want to use it outside of battle, that is. I don't think Zigzagoon can learn it. If not, I'm, I'll still be fine in the cave. I know my way. Yeah, he's not able to learn it. Nuzleaf can learn it, but it's an HM, so I can't get rid of it normally. It's an HM in this game. I don't think it is in future ones. But anyway, we will be exploring more of this cave in the next one but for now i'm gonna say i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna say that i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of pokemon emerald and i hope you'll be joining me next time i'm doing my intro again i think i did it earlier until i remembered where flash was but anyway i hope you'll be joining me next time where we make our way through the cave give that letter to steven and then head to the pokemon gym and see how we fare nuzleaf i don't think it's his gym so i think combuskin's gonna be out front this time around 
Unless we get into some double battles, but I guess we'll see. But until then, I'll be seeing you guys later. I'm out.